All right, welcome back everybody. So this week we're going to look at the industry standard solvent-based conversion varnish. Let's get to it. All right, welcome back everybody. So this week we're mainly looking at the Exalta 550 conversion varnish, but I do have a panel with the CIC um, conversion varnish and I just wanna kinda compare to see if there's any difference in um, kind of durability between a 275 and a 550 conversion varnish. Now, a conversion varnish is pretty much the de facto standard in the industry for years for high-end cabinetry, tables. Um, it's probably one of the most widely used finishes other than a pre-catalyzed lacquer. Um, they can be somewhat persnickety to use um, you have to make sure your ratios are right on your catalyst. Um, the other thing that sometimes people have an issue with, with conversion varnishes, is you have to stay within a mill thickness of them. You can't just pile conversion varnishes on or you'll have, it have a tendency to shatter on you. So whatever the recommended mill thickness is, is what you want to stick with, um, you know, on your final coats. Um, as far as this product, um, I think the pot life is 12 hours, but what you can do is let's say you shoot a day and you've got a gallon mixed up, you can pour another gallon into it and then recatalyze it the next day, which most of your conversion varnishes are like that. Now, one of the differences I saw between the two of these are catalyst ratios. This one I added a lot less than this one for equal amount of dry times. Now, some guys will use acetone to speed up the dry time um, for a conversion varnish because it's a little bit longer than a pre-cat lacquer or a water base. Um, generally, a good rule of thumb is to wait about two hours before you sand in between. Now, certain manufacturers will differ on this, but I've kind of found that, you know, the thing is it will tack up, but, and it's kind of dust free, but you really can't sand it. It's still kind of sticky. Like if you put your finger on it, it's still kind of tacky. So it takes a little bit longer for that. To up. And again, this is temperature dependent as well. So, but like I said, a good rule of thumb is, you know, two hours between sanding coats. Now, um, the Exalta, if I were shooting conversion varnish, all the time i would use a vinyl sealer and their vinyl sealers you can catalyze um, with the same catalyst that you use for the top coat so i would probably do that because you're going to get a little bit quicker um, dry time and then i would put two coats of my conversion varnish on top of it um, there are some guys that will do two coats of vinyl sealer with it catalyzed and then two top coats of clear on some of their colors to give you a little bit better better build um so that is a that is an option with the exalta cic um doesn't have a catalyzed vinyl sealer so you just have to shoot a vinyl sealer and then two to three coats whatever you know you're looking for to to build that finish that you can do if you don't want to use a vinyl sealer is there are um conversion varnish sealers but what a lot of guys do um, as well is like you can take either your acetone and some of them you can use xylene in them just make sure that you look at the data sheets to, de to determine what you can thin the product with because they they vary quite a bit on what you can do and they'll reduce it um, like 15 15 percent to use as a sealer and that's going to dry a lot faster because you're taking you know, you're putting the acetone in it, which is speeding up the dry time, but you're also thinning the material too. So you're taking the solid content down. So that's something to remember, but that is another option that you can use. Or, um, like I said, some of the, some of the manufacturers have a, um, two component sealer that is made to go under, um, the conversion varnish. Let's get to it and let's take a look at the, um, durability okay, so of the product. This this is over a UV plywood. This top side is sanded and the bottom side was unsanded. So we're going to look at the adhesion characteristics of both of these here. So this is the sanded surface. 
Now I will tell you as I was cutting this, because this stuff is so hard, it can be a little bit on the chippy side. All right, as you can see, um, I pretty much got nothing on that. Let's take a look at the unsanded. So this was unsanded UV plywood. And absolutely nothing. So what we're looking at here and what we can learn from this is that pretty much on your 2K, um, two component catalyzed products, your adhesion is much greater than a single component system. Um, so let's take a look at the chemical resistance of the conversion. All right, so let's look at acetone first on this. Um, so we're getting sort of a, a barely glossed on this. I don't know if I can even get the light right for you to see this or not. Um, but it barely glosses it, barely. Pretty much almost no effect. Probably similar to what we saw with the, um, the, the 2K urethane. Let's take a look at denatured alcohol. And that'll take a minute to flash off. Uh, I'll let that flash off and I'll show you. All right, so the alcohol, um, you can see a little bit of a uh, ring right there, but you know, that's really gonna be hard to tell with the, the wood grain and all. So I'm gonna pretty much say that that is no effect on the denatured alcohol. All right, let's take a look at lacquer thinner. All right, the lacquer thinner, um, what we're getting is again, just a little bit of that gloss, which is consistent with what I've seen. Um, so as far as the uh, chemical resistance is concerned, um, I really don't personally see that much difference between a conversion varnish and a 2K solvent-based urethane. Um, okay, so comparing it to the 275, um, it's kind of hard to tell, but I would say that they're pretty much similar. I'm not going to be able to get the light right for you to see it, but it kind of glosses it. But obviously, you're going to see less of an issue on a lighter surface than you do on darker surfaces. So just always keep that in mind. Now, a few years ago, I tested the um, Sherwin-Williams conversion varnish. Um, against the CIC water base and what I found with it was consistent with this um, but I believe they had a clear over the top of it so I would make the assumption that if you were to put a color coat and then clear over this you're gonna get better chemical resistance than you do from a pigmented um, source um, so that's be something interesting to maybe test out at some point as well all right okay so let's look at the mar or scratch resistance um, so this is on the sanded portion and I mean I'm not even it's not even hardly denning this it's like I'm I'm pushing about as hard as I can and it's it's not even denning the wood it's kind of like abrading the top surface of the material as you can see there um, so the scratch and mar resistance is phenomenal on a conversion varnish same thing on the unsanded um, all right, so what are my final thoughts on the conversion varnish? <clears throat> well, I mean, I think it's obvious why it's been the de facto standard for kitchen cabinets and high-end um, furniture. Uh, it's just a great product and it works. Um, despite the, you know, now you, you do have mill thickness limitations and things like that. But the other question it brings up for me is, and it should for you guys is, is a 2K polyurethane really that much better than a conversion varnish and does it justify um, the added cost? The differences are um, the mill builds, okay? Um, a 2K product's not as persnickety uh, with your ratios, but you know what? If you've got the ratios figured out, I mean, 
and you can you know measure I don't really see an issue with that and if you're you know you're following the finishing schedule and um, you're doing your recoats in the, in in the time you're supposed to I, I mean that's just following directions guys so I don't know uh, it's kind of an interesting um, question now but I think if you're looking for um, one of the best finishes on the market one of the most durable finishes on the market uh, I think a conversion varnish is a, an excellent way to go um, so anyway I hope you liked the video make sure you like and subscribe if you want to get the notifications every week hit the bell and we will catch you next week thanks for watching <laughs>